I love you, baby CJ. All right, what's up, guys? This is Mama Cece checking in with baby CJ. How are you? Well, today's video is going to be about breastfeeding and pumping milk. So let's just go ahead and jump right to it. Breastfeeding is something that I knew I wanted to do before I had CJ, so one of the things about breastfeeding is that it's, it's better for your baby and it's good for the mother as well. But we'll get into all that. I have a list of things I want to go over with you guys. So breastfeeding, when you're breastfeeding your baby, one thing that you want to make sure is that when the baby is feeding, his mouth or her mouth should be over the whole, um, it should be over more than just the nipple because if they're just sucking on the nipple, that's going to be very painful. Breastfeeding can be painful to begin with. Um, it definitely wasn't easy. Um, actually, I kind of wanted to quit, but I would say stick with it. Um, definitely stick with it. For me, the pain was there in the beginning, and then it went away. And sometimes it would come back if I wasn't, you know, properly breastfeeding him right. But so far, I've gotten um, better with it. Obviously, CJ is six months now, so. When the baby is born, the first thing that a mother is going to make is colostrum. And colostrum is just a, a substance that comes out before the milk that's packed with nutrients for your newborn. And then after a few days, your milk will start to produce. So for newborns, um, CJ, you know, fed every two hours, two ounces of milk. Now for me, I actually pumped milk for him because I didn't know if he was getting enough milk or not. And one way they say that you can tell the baby is still hungry is if their fist is clenched. If they're not hungry anymore, then their fists will, or their hands will be more relaxed. But for me, I wanted to know for sure, so that's why I pumped and I, you know, breastfed him and then I also um, bottle fed him. One thing that you want to do is to continue to eat healthy after you have the baby. I know it may be tempting to just go back to eating whatever you want, those hamburgers or whatnot, but definitely continue to eat fruits and vegetables. Drink plenty of water, plenty of water. I cannot stress this enough. By you breastfeeding, you're releasing a lot of um, liquid out of your body and um, you definitely need to put that back in there. If you're low on milk, which I am, I don't produce enough for CJ to be fully satisfied. There's a few things that you can do to help you produce more milk. One thing that is highly recommended by a lot of people is mother's milk tea. You can find that at the grocery store. Um, actually, I have some mother's milk tea. Let me go. Let me go get that for you guys. You sit here and play, CJ. I'll be back. That didn't really work for me too well, so I did try another tea. Um, it's called Woman's Nursing Support by Yogi. And I got this at Whole Foods. Unigreek pills can also help as well, but I did read that um, Funigreek can cause colic and excess gas in babies, and if you have asthma, it could cause breathing problems. So that's definitely something that you want to check into and check with your doctor about as well. Another thing that can help you are lactation cookies. I did make a video on how to make some lactation cookies, so definitely check that out. I'll link it up to you guys at the end of this video. They're actually really, really good. So I definitely recommend that. That You can also get, he's very active, isn't he? You can also get lactation cookies at the store, but I find those to be pretty expensive, and I think it's just something that you can just make yourself. It's pretty easy, and you'll have more cookies to eat. 
I heard that dark beard works because of the brewer's yeast that's in there. That really helps with lactation. And also, the brewer's yeast is an ingredient that goes into the lactation cookies. Another thing is oatmeal. And then what I found that worked for me was coconut water. Um, I think that increased my milk production, but I couldn't take it for so long because it is expensive to buy, but I loved it. If you don't like the taste of coconut water by itself, you can also put it in orange juice or mix it into your favorite smoothies. Mwah! Say hi to everybody. Say hi, CJ. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're still not producing enough milk, another option for you is to get donor milk from other mothers who are able to donate their milk to a milk bank for women who are unable to breastfeed for their babies but would like to have the option of them um, drinking breast milk because of the um, nutritional value for the baby. Um, one thing about breastfeeding is that the baby, when CJ was um, smaller, when he was first born, every time he would breastfeed, he would fall asleep. So in order to wake him up, what you want to do is like rub their ear, rub their neck, and then also you want to rub along their lower back, which made him sit up straight and wake up. Because um, you definitely want them to get enough food. So wake up a sleeping baby, don't let them sleep. Clogged ducts can be a problem where you're breastfeeding and milk may not be coming out from one particular side. Um, what you want to do to prevent that or you know to remedy, remedy that if you ever get a clogged duct is to just massage your breast. I would play with the nipple as well because sometimes it could just be the hole and nipple that's not, um, that may be clogged. So play with that. Um, put a warm towel over it or take a warm shower. That will definitely help you out because you don't want to get metastasis. I hope I'm saying that right, metastasis, which is where you'll start to swell up and it'll really hurt. And that can be quite dangerous. So that's just something to. Um, be aware of if you want to breastfeed. One thing about breastfeeding is when I was feeding CJ on one side, it automatically pumped milk from the other side. So what I would do is get my breast pumping bottle and put it onto the other side to catch that milk that's coming out because you definitely don't want any of your liquid gold to go to waste. Something that you'll need for pumping milk are breast pads. You can pick those up from any store. Um, it's just there that you put stuff into your bra to soak up any milk when you're out and about during your day because you can leak. Um, another thing that you'll want to have is nipple ointment for um, cracked or sore nipples. And the one that I used was Boob Ease Organic Nipple Blom. Feeding for mom and baby is obviously your baby is getting all the nutrients that he or she needs. Um, they're also getting antibodies to protect against illnesses. I know I got sick a couple of times after CJ was born, so by him breastfeeding, he never actually caught my cold, which was I, which I was happy about. It's good for their immune system. Um, for the baby, it's also easily um, digestible as opposed to formula, but don't feel so bad if you have to use formula. No baby has ever had any problems with, you know, taking formula if they couldn't take breast milk. I mean, obviously you have to find the one that your baby can take, but there's nothing wrong with babies wanting to have or drinking formula. Um, it's a great bonding time for mommy and baby. I know when I went back to work and had to pump, when I came home I would actually breastfeed CJ just to have that bonding time with him. 
For the mother, it actually helps with weight loss and it helps to contract the uterus after the baby is born. They also say that breastfeeding can stop your period for a certain amount of months. That wasn't the case for me, but they say that it's supposed to make it less likely that you'll get pregnant, but don't use that as a 100% um, surefire method for not having another baby. There's plenty of people who had a baby um, back to back. Um, let's see. One thing I do want to say, if you're not producing enough milk, and I hear this a lot, don't feel like you're being a failure or you're a bad mom. It's, not everybody's body is the same. And just supplement with milk. Go to your doctor, ask them what is the best thing to give your baby. You are not failing your baby in any way. One thing that I've learned is a fed baby is better than a hungry baby. So just remember that. If you're not producing enough milk, go ahead and supplement with some formula. And the one that I was recommended by my doctor to get is uh, Similac OptiGrowth, which has DHA for brain development, lutein for the eye development, and vitamin E for overall development. And you have these bottles here. One thing I liked about these was that they're little small two ounce bottles that you could just pop right off of here, take the top off and just give to the baby right away. It comes with one um, nipple. And CJ still drinks this to this day. Obviously, he's gotten a lot bigger, so it takes more than just one bottle to satisfy him. But I also mix it with my breast milk as well so that he's getting enough to drink. Um, and right now, CJ is drinking about five ounces of milk per feeding. So I give him that along with his uh, baby food. All right, CJ. All right, so you ready to go play? All right, CJ's going to go bye-bye right now. Say bye-bye, everybody. Say bye, baby. Say bye. He's so ticklish.